Mm. <laughs> Folks, welcome back to another week of Word of Mouth, talking mental health, relationships, careers, etc. Y'all know the deal. Like and subscribe to the channel. Link down below to all our social media platforms. Uh, been a couple weeks since I've posted a video, about four months, we'll just say a month, month bit long. Uh, finals papers do etc so forth it was getting a little hectic for that last month so you know i had to take a little break from this but you know we're back for the summer hopefully uh we'll get back into our group sessions here soon uh just like i have stuff to do the homies got stuff to do one's graduating with his phd in december other ones have consulting businesses you know life shit. so you know that's just what's going on so we're gonna try something new uh because people ask about the hats and they're always curious and whatnot. And I just tell them, oh, they're for sale, et cetera. It's kind of dry about it. So a little more detail about it. So this first hat I'm starting off with is actually from the second series. I like to call them series or seasons or arc, however you want to do it, anime head. So you're probably going to hear arc or series more than anything. So this hat is from the second series. I got them in New York uh, for Got him in New York, uh, had to uh, drive up there. This was back when I was uh, trying to move up there, had some positions, openings and whatnot, then got injured so I couldn't take them. But you know, that's a life or whatever. So that's when I got I got those hats. Uh, the first hats were pretty successful. You know, people were like, oh, these are dope, et cetera, so forth, selling from 20 bucks. Um, only did 12 just to see, you know, like a test model, see what was gonna do, what was gonna take off and whatnot. People really enjoyed them. So I decided to like, branch out a little bit and just uh decide to do different colors to begin with you know because this was still before I, before the youtube channel before uh the whole website and all that it was just me testing things out to see well how is this life coaching thing gonna go or this health and wellness brand production how was i gonna you know model it and get it out there and this was the perfect way this was back in 2017 2017 yeah 2017 when i did these so that's where this hat came from people really like the original hat i probably do next week uh it's a, the, just the regular jean hat light jean hat people enjoyed it and this one it was a regular jean but it wasn't all the distress look these are most of my hats have the distress look there's a reason for that i may go into detail about that as well so uh Yeah, that's pretty much it to it. It was just, uh, it was still testing out to see if this idea was going to work or be a hit with people. And they definitely were. This was actually the most popular hat out of the series. And I was surprised that it was. But at, when I thought about it, it's not so surprising because brown, a neutral color. People most of the time wear jeans, darker jeans, these colors. So, and it definitely can go with pretty much anything. So, people definitely enjoyed that hat. But let's get back into it. Uh, so this week we're discussing a, a uh, what's it called? How to put it? I don't even know how to put it. I guess a devoted boyfriend. It's kind of crazy to me, but a devoted boyfriend helping his girl with her OnlyFans account. So I'm going to read the passage. It's going to pop up on your screen, and then we're going to just dive into it. My girlfriend started an OnlyFans page two months ago, and after one month, she only had one follower, me. She was upset and I felt bad for her. I decided to create multiple accounts to subscribe to her so she would be happier and more encouraged to continue with her journey. Recently, over the past few weeks, she has been messaging one of my accounts, which uses a very handsome male profile picture, and she has been hinting at meeting up with him. I don't know what to do right now. Do I tell her the truth about what I'm doing or continue pretending to be this guy to avoid upsetting her? She mentioned being, being willing to fly out to meet this dude. I think her heart would be broken if I told her. So, this is something I've discussed. Like, this is the worst thing guys do, lie to women. And they lie to women pretty bad, because this is a pretty bad lie. I know I his intentions aren't bad, but this is a horrible lie. And the lie has now gotten so far out of control that he can't, he doesn't know what to do in the situation. And this is my theory, just going into the psyche of it. So, he's okay with the OnlyFans. I, fine whatever he's okay with that but then this young lady's talking about flying out and meeting another guy meeting up with another guy 
for her to have obviously have relations with because he's an attractive fellow. How I'm taking it and how I believe most men would take it is she's not just looking for a one night stand. She's looking for somebody to upgrade her life, upgrade her status, upgrade what she is. And in some way, she feels like she's better than the man she's with. Because he's admitted is a handsome fellow that she's uh, looking out to. She's talking about willing to be flown out. And in her mind, she's doing it in secrecy of the other guy. At least that's how it comes off. Because he, do, he doesn't know. He's not aware. And ultimately, I don't understand why he doesn't see this. But, you know, I guess love is blind, so to speak. So, but this is this is really so more so for males than women. This is why you don't lie. This is why you don't go around and do that stuff like this. Embellish a woman's looks for the sake of make, keeping her happy or getting in her pants. Because eventually she's going to find out if she hasn't already. And when she does, she's going to be even more heartbroken that her her partner really just had to go around making all these OnlyFans accounts just to get your name out there. Now, she might just be bad at marketing it, but I mean, sex sales, or she may not be un un unattractive or unattractive to most. So I can't really speak one way or another, but it's to me, OnlyFans is really easy to put out there, at least as maybe not making the content, so to speak, but uh, just having it out there. You make a Twitter page, post a couple nudes, somebody subscribe. But if you had it for two months and nobody subscribed, nobody's looked your way, and depending on the price she's charging, because if she's willing to do this, this means she's also willing to charge a really high dollar amount. And she's not worth the dollar amount she thinks she's worth. And this more so probably has to do with her guy over inflating her ego versus what's really taking place. So this is just a, a message out to guys, you know, just don't do it. Like, I'm not saying be this ruthless guy that just say you're trash and all that, but be honest with women like you know if you're she's a, a bit above average just say you're a bit above average if she's okay she's okay if she's like you know there's a right and wrong way to go about it and that's not always what you're saying it's how you're saying it. and you can tell her honestly like look you may think you're beyonce but you're not you know you may think you're not rihanna but you're not you're pretty average like most people in the world they have average looks so that's all I have to say on this video and this uh, comment. Like and subscribe to the channel. Link down below. Like I said before, this is word of mouth. Peace. Mm. <laughs>